going to continue learning about por and para by looking at the uses for para. So para, the, the primary, the most common use that you'll see is meaning in order to. Um, so let's look at some examples. Estoy aquí para aprender español. I am here in order to learn Spanish, or I am here to learn Spanish. So often um, for these, you don't need to say the full phrase in order to, it's just to in English. But when, when you could say in order to, you need para. Um, it, you can't uh, have this phrase or this sentence without para. Estoy aquí para aprender español. You, you, can't, ha you can't take para out of there, even though um, aprender is sometimes translated as to learn, you still need para here. Estoy aquí para aprender español. I'm here to learn Spanish. Decidí estudiar medicina para poder ayudar a otros. Once again, very similar. I decided to study medicine in order to be able to help others. Para poder ayudar a otros. Um, siempre lleva tus anteojos para ver bien. Always uh, carry your glasses in order to see well. So, para ver bien. To see well. Para llegar más rápido. So, in order to get there more quickly, para llegar más rápido, tomé un taxi. So to get there faster, I took a taxi. Some more uses for para are to, to indicate deadlines, destinations, and recipients. So, este regalo es para mi hermano. So again, it has kind of that same feeling to it. It's, it's the, the finalization of the thing, um, just like the in order to was was the the reason why I was doing something was the um, was what we used after para. So este regalo es para mi hermano. It's for my brother. He's the one that, that's going to receive it. Me voy para Madrid. Y tú? I'm going to Madrid. That's my destination. That's that's the end of the road for me. Voy para Madrid. Y tú? I'm going to Madrid. And you? Mi composición es para el lunes. Again, the deadline, it's for lunes. Lunes is going to be the end. Trajiste algo para mí? Did you bring something for me? So let's take a look at por qué versus para qué. Uh, so por qué, remember por had a lot of the, the indications of by or through or the, the reason because of this. So, porque, which both of these can mean why in different contexts, but porque, when, uh, when you ask porque, you're asking what the cause was. So, por qué vas a la fiesta? What was the reason um, that you, you're going to the, the party? What, what happened that, that you are going to the party, basically? Voy porque Mario me invitó. I'm going because Mario me invited me. Now look at the difference with para que. Para que, again, it's, it's the finalization. It's the reason um, that, that something is happening. Um, so in this case, it's, it's what's going to happen that is the reason for you going to the party. Para que vas a la fiesta. And now when you answer it, you're going to, you're going to explain the, the, the things you're going to do at the party that, that are the reason why you're going. So, voy para disfrutar con mis amigos y comer pastel. I'm going um, in order to enjoy with my friends and eat cake. 